Hi, I'm Megan. Hi, I'm Brianna. Hi, I'm Savannah. I'm Jenica. And I'm Chloe. So I guess we've had a chance to talk. Do we have any ideas about what we want our topic to be? Um, I'm really interested in like the history of Paris. I know like history can like include a multitude of things. Like I'm also very interested in like the architecture and like the buildings. Um, they're usually built in like the same time. Yeah. Mm -hmm. A lot of them are like pretty old and they have like a bunch of like rich history with that. Um, so I'd be excited to learn more about that. Mm -hmm. I agree with the history thing because in my last in the last 360 video I talked about wanting to see like the castles and all the buildings and I just think that'd be really cool for like pictures and videos. And yeah. Mm, I see. Um, okay, I like this idea of history, but I think it would be really cool if we had, like, um, if we looked at different elements of history. Mm -hmm. So, for example, you can look at, um, you know, what does architecture tell us about Paris's history? Mm -hmm. But you could also look at, okay, what about the food? You know, mm -hmm. what, what ingredients are they using? Are these yeah. things that were always local to France, you know, what's that going to tell us? You can think about like, um, like fashion, yeah. you know, what kind of clothes do people normally wear and is that something mm -hmm. that's like specific to France or is there now a lot of borrowing from other countries? And yeah. I just think that we could all like find specific, um, you know, I mean history is kind of general so I mean, we obviously yeah, have to focus on that, but that was just my idea of how to focus it, you know, yeah. like pick something, what can we learn about history from this one thing? Yeah. I'll say, I know one of the things I'm really interested in with history is um, like linguistics and kind of the history of language and how it evolved. Mm -hmm. um, and I think that just kind of like French and German are really interesting languages to look at because French is obviously a romantic language and then German is a Germanic language. <laughs> and English takes, even though English is technically a Germanic language, it takes inspiration from like both and they have similarities but also differences. So I think it'd be really cool to kind of compare, contrast the history of those and kind of going into with your idea of like there's so many different aspects of history so we could really focus in on one or we could kind of just like, Broader. oh, there's there's a lot of things that we're all interested in so we can talk about a lot, but there's a lot of material to work with. Mm -hmm. Yeah, mm -hmm. I think especially like when we go to Berlin, there's going to be a lot of history there because I remember on the itinerary, we're supposed to go to one of the concentration yeah. camps mm -hmm. and then we can take a look at the Berlin Wall and you know, like we can go over like some of the more widely known parts of history mm -hmm. in that area and then I feel like another interesting part of it would be like in Paris with the Eiffel Tower like kind of yeah. how that came to be yeah it would kind mm -hmm. of be cool mm -hmm. especially yes. since we're going to be like walking up it and everything so you yeah. remind me of this <laughs> this is like slightly unrelated but related I, it reminds <laughs> me of this one picture that I would always look at when we went to Red Robin <laughs> when I was a kid. Oh my and god, like an like, like, old building. Yeah, yeah, they had on yeah. There was this mm. image and it showed the Eiffel Tower being built. <laughs> That's what you made oh, me think of. Yeah, I was say I think like, like just like kind of like you said, like the historical events, like so much happened. Yeah, yeah. in Germany and like specifically Berlin, like there's a lot of history there. In France, France, too. France too. Though, like, yeah, they were involved in like all the wars. Like there's gonna yes. be plenty of stuff. Oh yeah. yeah. <laughs> I know I really want to go to like one of like the museums. Yeah. Um, like and also like the Louvre, which I think <gasps> we're gonna need art history. Sort of, mm -hmm. Yeah. Can so we agree history. we need more than one day of the Louvre? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> one day is not gonna be enough for me. I'm gonna need at least a couple. <laughs> <laughs> and then there's also like I know we're taking a tour on like the right bank and like the left mm -hmm. bank, which like each side I don't really know much about it, but I'm assuming like each side is a little different within like that history, but. Mm -hmm. um, just like taking a tour and seeing like how the houses were like built and like if they've changed at all or have been modernized or anything like that. Okay, mm -hmm. I have a question. You go. <laughs> <laughs> <Sorry>. <laughs> okay, what exactly is the left and right bank? I've heard it like used so, and I just don't know what the, it is. The river scene like splits the city mm -hmm. into yeah. So one half is the left bank and one half is the right bank and it kind of just like that's how they divide the city. Yeah. Does that encompass like everything to the left and everything to the right? Well, no, because there's like neighborhoods too, like, and I'm just speaking from what I've seen on a map. Yeah. But like you have like, and I don't know, even know which side is left or right because it's like depends on which way yeah, you're facing. Yeah, 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 okay. But like aside from the semantics, like you kind of have like your, I think one of them's like a more touristy side and then the other is kind of like more work and stuff. Oh, that's and interesting. And then it kind of evolves into like separate neighborhoods from there. So is Paris like 
huge, or is it all along this like river kind of? It's big. The river just cuts through part of it, and then everything else just explodes around it. Okay. Like Versailles. <laughs> like Versailles is on the outskirts of the city, but it's still like it's a ways from where we are, and it's mm. still like in the city. It's like what we would consider the suburbs mm-hmm. almost. Interesting. All right. So, oh, oh, gone. I was just gonna say. Oh, we should look at like the public transportation system. I want to go on a boat tour. Yeah, I want to go on a boat tour and like travel by boat. I think that would be really fun. Mm -hmm. Mm It'd be a good way to get the history. Yeah. Alright, so I think we decided history. (laughs) (laughs) Wow. (laughs) Great work. (laughs) Alright.